Good day, one and all. Thanks for joining us here at WSKI TV 17 as we go through reggae weekend. Regardless of the weather, we're here to keep you entertained. WSKITV.com is where you can see this forecast all year round. For the main high peaks region, Mountainside Real Estate brings you the weather for Sunday. We'll see mainly cloudy skies again, unfortunately, with a passing afternoon rain shower or flurry. 26 to 30 up top on Sunday, so staying below freezing, 36 to 40 at the base. Not a perfect reggae weekend for weather, but who cares? That's not what you come for. It's the fun of it. On Monday, partly sunny skies, 29 to 33 at the summit, 41 to 45 at the base. So a pretty nice day. Hope you can stick around, take advantage of the weather on Monday. Then Tuesday, back to mainly cloudy skies, 45 at the base, 30 up top. Wednesday, mostly sunny, getting all the way up to 53 at the bottom of the mountain and 36 up top, so there is one to cross off and be here. Thursday, mostly cloudy, 53 at the base and 37 up top. So as spring weather has arrived, we see temperatures going up and down, and with a bit of rain overnight, that means we will have soft conditions on Sunday morning. It will be variable though, so pay attention to Kip's first tracks report and we'll tell you whether it's frozen up top and what the story is on the hill. Birchwood Interiors brings you our trail conditions. We're looking 8 o'clock start for Snubber, 8.30 for Sawduster and Skidway, serving the beginner terrain at the bottom of the mountain. 8 o'clock for West Mountain Chairlift. This is the last weekend that will be in operation. Super Quad Skyline and Double Runner good to go at 8.30. And also at 8.30, King Pine and Wiffle Tree over on the east side. King Pine will stay in operation throughout the week next week since we don't have Timberline, by the way. Timberline, Bridal Chain, Tote, Kings, Hayburner, Haywire on the groomers list tonight, along with Comp Hill, Gage, Spillway, Sluice, and all the trails down here in the flats at the base area of the mountain. And on the east side, they'll do Hallback, Ramdown, Widowmaker, Wiffle Tree, Two Hall, Cruiser, Slasher, and Rollway on the west side, Scoot, Windrow, and West Mountain. And this will be the last time they'll groom over West Mountain as Sunday will be the last day that chairlift will be in operation. And it's a little bit thin over there. This Tuesday is the last day of restorative yoga at 5 p.m. at the Anti-Gravity Complex. Here's the hours they're open to the public all throughout the week. And another place to check out is the Sports and Fitness Center on the mountain. They've got hot tubs, swimming pool, all kinds of ways to recreate under a roof there. And if it's not too late, the Red Lion Rockers are playing at Shipyard Saturday night from 7 till 9 at the bottom of the Birches. And at the Rack, they have Royal Hammer kicking off at 9.30 at the bottom of the Access Road on this reggae weekend. Keep in mind, Easter is next weekend. If you want to go to the Sunrise Service, the Super Quad will be loading from 5 to 5.10 a.m. So heads up on that. And if you'd like to think about working here this summer, Carabasset Valley has some great jobs, especially for young people in the rec department with outdoor adventure, camp counselors, and a mountain bike trail crew needed. We're doing our Watch and Wind Show this evening from 5.30 till 7, so if the weather has driven you inside, great. Just tune into WSKI. You can also watch us streaming at our website, WSKITV.com, from anywhere. And on Sunday morning, that's our last live show of this season, and we will be doing the draw for the Amalgam Skis winner. That's the combination of all the people who have won prizes for Watch and Win over the course of the season. If you want to stay in touch with what's happening in the main High Peaks region all year round, we are the Insiders on the Outside around here. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, also ways we keep you in touch like nobody else. Happy reggae!